what is up guys this is Kessia uh, today I've decided to do a let's play of a Newgrounds game and uh, I'm pretty certain that this game is nine years old yeah 2005 uh, I decided to do this game because I remember playing it when I was first introduced to Newgrounds in like the sixth grade and um, I haven't really been feeling like doing, uh, I don't know what to call it, like just PC games, uh, console games, like actual video games, but I feel like playing a game on the desktop, like a flash game, is something I'm more interested in, in doing at the moment. So I decided this would be a good let's play for you guys, it'll be fun for me. Cause I'll be kind of playing it blindly. I haven't played it for a few years, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, press space to start. Oh, no, that is not what I wanted. Okay, one day at Nicholas's local mall. Ew. Hi, I'm looking for the Raymond Osborne Show Season 2 DVD. I saw it in here before. Do you still have any in stock? Guy at register? Sorry, that girl over there took the last copy. You might be able to ask her for it. Okay. Oh man, this is so old. Music is weird too. Hey, I heard you found the last copy of the Ray Osborne DVD in stock. Yeah, mommy's gonna buy it for me as soon as she gets back from the gift shop. Is there any way that I can persuade you to let me have it? No way, I'm a huge collector of everything Ray Osborne. Dude, you're like five. <laughs> The only way I'd give it up is if someone found my pet squirrel that I lost somewhere in this store. Uh. Okay, what are these? The wall is adorned with assorted action figures. Okay. Is that Pikachu in there? It's the bargain toy bin. Hey, someone dropped a dead squirrel in here. He'd better take it. Dead squirrel! <laughs> Items. Enough money for a DVD. A squirrel. That's nice. Hello, kid who keeps waving their arms. Hey, I heard you- what? Okay. Uh, I think I found your squirrel, but I have some bad news. Yay, you found Daddy the squirrel! Thank you so much! I'll let you have the DVD. You mean the squirrel was dead when you got it? Yeah, I figured a dead pet would be easier to take care of because I wouldn't have to feed it. I guess that makes sense. Thanks for the DVD. Yeah, buddy! Time to talk to this kiddo. Hello. I got the DVD and I'm ready to buy it. Do you want me to put it in one of those little bag things for you? <laughs> sure, why not? Here you go. Thank you for shopping at Suncoast. Swag. Beat the game. Alright guys, let's go. Where am I? I'm just walking. <laughs> what the poop? The escalators aren't moving! But that means I can't get up to the exit! I'm trapped in the mall! I guess I'll just have to find some way to get the escalators moving again. Okay, who's this kid? Man. Person. <laughs> His head just turns that far. Otaku. <laughs> Do you know where I can find some Totoro Daojinshi? I think I know what that is, but I'm just gonna, yeah. No, not really. Then never mind. Okay, well that's clearly closed, so I'm not gonna go there. This looks like a bathroom. Oh, oh, okay. Hello, same person who works at Suncoast. Welcome to Tapeworm's Plant Shop. Feel free to look around. In fact, look around even if you're not going to buy. It's good for business. But, I'm the only one in here. How is it good for business? Oh, there are others here. There are demons in the walls. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll uh, keep that in mind. No, thank you. I'm out. Uh, Bartle B's novelties. I can't even- oh, shizzle. Hey, this doesn't look like a novelty shop. Come closer. I sense you have a problem. Yes, the escalator stopped moving and I can't get to the exit. Don't worry, if you throw a coin into the fountain and make a wish, it'll come true. No, it won't. <laughs> Let me finish. It'll come true if you throw it in with a special magic potion. For the potion, you'll need these ingredients. The coin, a live squirrel, a big leaf, and a large pair of under- What the heck? I think I know where to get a dead squirrel. Will that work? 
No, it has to be alive. Then mix the ingredients together in a plastic bag. I have a plastic bag. Splendid. Give it to me and I'll give it... I'll keep it while you find the other items. In the meantime, I'll give you something else that might help you on your quest. A what? Uh, Maromi doll? Yeah, you know, Maromi from that anime paranoia agent. I sensed you'd like it. Thanks, but how will it help me? <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to get rid of it. It creeps me out at night. Well, thanks anyway. I'll come back when I have all the ingredients. Bye bye He looks like he has Majora's Mask. Uh, I'll talk to the kid with the, the squirrel first, I think. Wait, can I go farther? You, uh, really don't want to go that way for some reason. You just don't, okay? <laughs> Alright. Hello, child, once more. Whee! Uh, thanks for finding daddy. Come on, kid. Come on, kid. You'll never be anything, kid. There's no need to bother this guy unless you want to buy something, which you don't. So there. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I needed that and a coin. I have a plastic bag. I don't remember what the other things were. I'm going here. Oh, God. Build a bear. Hello? If you want to build a friend, talk to the personal master bear builder at the door. Oh, I didn't even notice her. You blend in. Welcome to Build a Bear Workshop. Would you like to select a new furry friend over on the left wall? No. Sorry, I don't really have enough money. Well, that was a huge waste of time. What do I do? The playground is only for children under this height. You're not under that height. Oh snap. What a Oh! What if I talk to that anime guy? Hey, nice Maromi doll. I guess you're cool after all. <laughs> er, thanks. As long as you're here, would you mind doing me a favor? I'm really hungry, but none of the restaurants around here serve Japanese food. <laughs> I think they have some Pocky at Suncoast. Would you mind getting me some? I would, but I don't really have any money. Well, I guess I could give you the money to buy it for me, but on one condition. Let me hold on to that Maromi while you buy it so I know you won't run off with my money. I'll return Maromi to you when you give me the Pocky. Deal? Okay. Arigatou gozaimasu. I knew I could count on you. I don't speak Japanese. I understand a little Japanese. <sighs> yeah. I want Pocky now. Uh, where do I go? Do I just talk to this guy? Man, do I like me some Legos. Me too, man. It's a bunch of used DVDs. Chances are they're all bootlegs. I don't doubt it. Uh, let's just go to the freaking action figure department. I don't know. It's the new releases section. <laughs> Release. Whoa, this guy has a dirty mind. It's the bargain toy. It's funny, because I didn't get that joke in like 2000 whenever. It's the manga section. There's also Pocky on the shelf. You take it. Haha. <laughs> I'm so smart. Hello, good sir. I'd like to buy this Pocky, please. Sure thing. That'll be $2.99. Here's your Pocky and here's your change. Oh, well, I just freaking skipped some dialogue by accident because you have to do everything with the space bar. GG. There's like three people in this mall, and one of them is the same person, simultaneously being in two stores at once. How does that even work? I brought the Pocky! Yatta! Arigato again! You can have your Maromi back, and feel free to keep the change. Ew, that Utaku is really stinky. This Maromi smells like a dead animal now. Oh! Oh, I know what to do! I'm gonna go to that kid. Okay, let's go. This takes forever. Oh my god. Oh. Wave, wave, wave to arms. <laughs> sniff, sniff. It smells like you have a dead pet too. Can I see it? Can I? Can I? Can I? Or Demi Maromi? It's just a. St <gasps> oh, your Maromi's way cuter than my dead pet. Want to trade Maromi for Daddy? Sure, why not? <laughs> so chill about it. Thanks. Here you go. Take good care of Daddy for me. Oh, I don't want a dead squirrel in my pocket. Let's go to Build a Bear. 
Wait, I still don't have any money. Oh! Oh good, you're here to test out our process with the new squirrel model prototype? Actually, this is just a dead squirrel- Step right this way, please. Alright, I guess I don't have anything else to lose. Oh dear. This is the Hear Me Station where you can record your very own sound for your squirrel. You record a custom message to this voice box, which we then place into the squirrel. Alright, here it goes. Squirrel noise! <laughs> squirrel noise! Squirrel noise. <laughs> oh my god. Great job! Now come over here to stuff your squirrel. Oh dear, no. Here we fill your new friend with stuffing, and then we have a very special step. Warm a fabric heart in your hands and put it in your squirrel to bring your new friend to life. Bring it to life, you say? Hmm. Oh god. Okay, now that we have the heart and stuffing in, let's stitch it, stitch it up. Ugh. Now let's go over to the fluff me station and clean your new friend up. Oh dear, it's gonna need it. How did she not notice? <laughs> there we go. Now we name it over there and print out its birth certificate. Wow, these are the worst puns I've ever heard. I would have said that if he didn't say it. Like, oh my god. I apologize. It's required. I'll name the squirrel Livy. Excellent. Now let's go over and pick out some clothes for your new friend. Look, there's something I have to say. This isn't a toy. It's a nudist. Okay, <laughs> let's proceed to the register. <laughs> oh man. Livy, is it? Okay, want to squeeze that voice box for me just to make sure it works? Squirrel noise. <laughs> <laughs> Great, the new squirrel prototype was a success. Thank you, please come again. Wow, that was by far the most messed up experience I've ever had. At least now I might be able to pass this squirrel off as alive. Can I go? Oh yeah, okay. What is that kid doing? Is he like... Never mind, I'm not gonna ask. Oh god. Wait, this is open now. What's in here? Dun -dun. Oh well, the ew. It's very poorly drawn. Very, very poorly drawn. It's the same dude. <sighs> Welcome to the Clothaholics Anonymous, home of the stupidest store name ever. You got that right. Is that it? I can't even examine this. I don't understand. Well, I'm guessing this is what I need. I think. This mannequin looks pretty broken. Maybe the guy at the front will let you have it if you ask. Eh, I have to go back. Zigzag. Hello. Hey, are you gonna eat that broken mannequin? <laughs> Wait, that's not right. Do you mind if I have the broken mannequin over there in the corner? Well, I actually was going to eat it, but alright, you can keep it. Thanks. You can't expect to lose weight on the mannequin diet anyway. Are you saying I'm fat? Not if it means I don't get the mannequin. I'll just take it already. <laughs> now I have to run back. <laughs> you take the mannequin, you also get the large pair of undies it's wearing. Now all you need is the big leaf. The mannequin itself is kind of disturbing though. Almost like a human corpse. This is quite the game. Okay, I... I guess I can go back to, uh, this place. Uh, should I even- ooh, okay. Feed me. You can talk? Feed me. What do you eat, people? I have a dead human body for you right here! <laughs> then feed me. Here you go. <laughs> munch munch gulp. He tasted kind of funny. Wait a minute! You fed me a mannequin, didn't you? I know. Pretty funny joke, huh? No! I'm allergic to mannequins! Ah! Oh, okay. That plant doesn't look too healthy. He's not going to mind if you pluck one of his leaves. Now all you bleh, now you have all the ingredients you need to get the escalators moving. Head back to the novelty shop to get Kodalwa to make you the potion. Okay, let's go. Swag. Hello Majora's mask guy. Did you find all of the ingredients? Yep. Have them all right here. Excellent. Give them to me and I will mix them for you. Now hurry, take this bag to the water fountain right away. Thank you, giant witch doctor guy. Swag. I wish. S 
outside. I wish I had the DVD of the first season of Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex. Wow! What do you know? The DVD I wanted! I guess wishes really do come true. Hey! That guy stole my wish! Well, fine then. I'll just have to walk up the escalator. Sheesh. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> do, 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 do. The end. Well, that was it. Okay, well that was probably a 10 minute video. Uh, okay, actually it was about 15 minutes, which is kind of sad because it felt like two. But if you guys want to see the sequel to this game, I might consider doing a playthrough. It's definitely going to be a bit longer, I know, because that one was quite elaborate. It actually kind of reminds me of Earthbound in a way. But yeah, if you liked this kind of thing, let me know and I might do more Newgrounds slash Flash games of any kind. So thanks for watching. See ya!